<laughs> Have you ever wondered how bus doors work? Well, this Kinex model will hopefully be able to show you. Now, I need to get my camera position just right for this. And I hope I can show you. Oh, yeah, I'll just show you with the one side at the moment. Okay, now I'll show you this. I hope I've got my camera position right here. I'm assuming I have for both doors. Let's move slightly closer. Hang on, one side's got stuck there. Oh, hang on. Let me fix this blasted thing. Keeps happening. Gone, twisted the other bloody way now. It keeps happening. Right, there we go. Now it's opening. So, if you're wondering how that works, I will show you now. There is a pole here that is attached to the top and the bottom of the door. This, the long yellow bit here, represents the door itself. Now, what happens is, is the motor will twist this pole that operates that lever. That is what swings, swings to make the door move. But all in, but what's important the most is this bit here. If this end of the door wasn't attached here at the top, 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 then this mechanism here would be useless. It would just make the door, so then when this pole here were to swing, the door would just go any way it liked. So, just at the top, they don't do this at the bottom usually, just the top. They attach it at the top to a little twisty bit, so that, so that that bit there can slide on a rod and twist. Allowing a, an, and allowing the motion that they call in-swing glider's door. The in-swing glider's door. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how the in-swinging gliders bus doors work or well how the actual how they actually operate anyway I don't know how the actual machine works inside that's probably different depending on depending on the brand but that is basically how they operate